iPhone SE ear speaker replacement guide. We're going to need the following tools for this procedure. Tweezers for managing screws. A plastic prying tool for unsnapping cables. A suction cup for getting the screen apart. A guitar pick for prying the screen. A pentalobe screwdriver, proprietary Apple screwdriver. A double zero Phillips head screwdriver. Begin by locating the two pentalobe screws near the charging port. Go ahead and uh, release the two pentalobe screws. With the pentalobe screws removed, go ahead and apply the suction cup as close as you can to the home button. If the screen is badly damaged, go ahead and use a piece of uh, tape to cover over the cracks so we can get a good seal for the suction cup. Apply the suction cup over the tape. While pinching the sides with your index and thumb, go ahead and tug on the suction cup. You can see it'll start pulling the screen out of the frame. Go ahead and insert the guitar pick near the auxiliary port. There's a little notch for it to be able to get in and start the separation. Once the separation has started, just tilt the guitar pick left to right and you can widen the gap. Be careful, there's a very fragile connection to the home button. With your tweezers, go ahead and remove the shield that guards the home button connection. It just lifts right up. Now disconnect the home button. We can now tilt up the screen and prepare to disconnect it from the phone. The screen connections are covered by a shield and secured with four Phillips head screws. Go ahead and start on the top right Phillips head screw and going around the contour of the shield, remove the remaining three Phillips head screws. With the screws removed, we can go ahead and lift up the shield. Now with a plastic prying tool, let's begin by removing the connection all the way on the right. Just pry underneath it gently and push up. While pinching it back, remove the second connection. These connections should be unplugged sequentially. Now the third. And that's it. The screen is now loose. Now let's remove the bracket that's guarding the earpiece speaker and the front facing camera. It's being held in with two Phillips head screws. Go ahead and remove the two Phillips head screws. In case you get them mixed up, the one in the top is the longer one. Go ahead and tilt the bracket upwards at a slight angle. Once you have it tilted up, go ahead and uh, with your tweezers in the top right corner bend the metallic piece back and it should come out just like that. You can now lift up the earpiece speaker. Here's what it looks like up close. Reassembly. Reinstall the ear speaker by placing it into its position like you see here. Take the uh, cover and place it right over the speaker in the following orientation. Secure the Phillips head screw on the bottom first is the shorter one of the two and the longer one in the top. Once both screws are secure, go ahead and pick up the screen, flip it over, and check to see if the camera is aligned properly. It's time to reattach the screen to the phone. Go ahead and pry back two of the three screen cables. Align the first connection that's vertical and press it in. Make sure it clicks in and shift around the screen to make sure that it's a snug connection it won't pop out. Now the second connection 
just like the first go ahead and click it in make sure you feel a click when you push it into its socket now the third and final connection with all three cables secure let's go ahead and place the shield back over the cables we'll need to secure the two top screws first starting with the top right screw go ahead and secure that first and then the one on the left that should keep the cables from coming apart now the two Phillips head screws on the bottom it's almost time to clamp up the phone but before we do we'll need to make one final connection the home button connection go ahead and align it with its socket first click it into place with your finger this might be a bit tricky put some pressure on it with some tweezers make sure it's firmly into its socket now with your finger move the cable around to make sure the connection is good let's place back the shield over it with the little metal part on the bottom that's the correct orientation just place it over and click it in place move the cable around to make sure it's snug and it won't come apart okay on the top pry the screen into the phone first then push down on it start going around the contour of the phone clicking it into place make sure that everything is all the way in and it's completely flush on all sides let's reinstall the two pentalope screws near the charger to finish up this installation let's power on the phone to test it to make sure that everything is plugged in correctly that concludes this video thank you for watching hit like and subscribe and check out more videos at appledollars.com